Yo. What up, bruh? How you guys doing today? Todd McVicker, Passionate Gamer here. How you guys doing? Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Blah, blah, blah. Good morning. It's your boy, Tyler McVicker here. We're going to be continuing on with our Cyberpunk 2077 Very Hard, Ultra Hard 1.5 playthrough. We're playing a Corpo. Um, before we get started with that, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Steam Next Fest. Uh, I went through the demos yesterday and I downloaded 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 demos. Downloaded 29 demos from the Steam Next Fest of games that look pretty cool. And we're going to be playing through them throughout the week. And then I'll be making uh, a video uh, talking about my favorite demos from the Steam Next Fest. This goes on until the 28th, so we don't have a whole lot of time to play through them. But... Our current gig, our current job, our current uh, thing that we need to get done is uh, the Cyberpunk 100% playthrough. Uh, they please Cyberpunk, stop following. thank you very much for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. The CD Projekt team uh, put up this really cool, well, not cool, but uh, uh, kind of nice um, little thank you to the Cyberpunk community following the 1.5 craze, which is very nice. Uh, but let's, uh, let's get going with the game, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, and, uh, I hope, <coughs> excuse me, I hope you guys, uh, had a good evening, or a good sleep, I hope you guys are gonna have a good day, um, thank you everybody for coming out, I appreciate it, so let's get going with this. Um, next video will be about, uh, I have, a, like, three Valve videos in a row that I need to get done, so, those will be the next videos as we continue to play this. So let's get going. You like the jacket? Oh yeah? You like this jacket? Me and me, me and Earbuds with the Twitch Prime. I love your name, bro. Good morning. If you have a Twitch Prime, use it. You don't have to use it on me, but you gotta use it on somebody. Otherwise, you're throwing away money that you can use to support your Please favorite live streamer. Me. Anyways, thank you very much, Earbuds, for the follow. Uh, do we like it? Do we like it, though, or are we just happy by proxy? That's what you gotta tell me, man. Alright, we're back into Cyberpunk 2077. Please stop following. Alright, thank you very much, Ampersant. I love that name, too, because it's got a 5 in it. Thank you, Ampersant, for following. We have a controller for when we drive. Otherwise, we do mouse and keyboard. We are using a Cyberpunk branded wireless Razer mouse. I've actually been using that for a very long time. We're playing on ultra maxed out graphics, like literally as high maxed out as it goes. We're playing on an uh, overclocked 3080 Ti uh, and a Ryzen 3900X up to like 4.8 gigahertz right now on water cooling. Hi, Tyler. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for coming out. I am doing well. Thank you. So, what we were doing yesterday is clearing out the reported crime in Watson. And we're going to keep doing that. We don't have a whole lot left to go before all of Watson is cleared out of crime. So, that's what we're going to be doing first. While people start filtering in, we're going to be doing reported crimes in Watson. My character is an assault rifle build. Um, I'm going for uh, crafting, engineering, assault and athletics with a little bit of with cold blood I'm, I'm mainly assault and cold blood with some crafting and engineering and then i'll take some athletic perks related to health has a has the performance improved uh significantly yes drastically i wasn't able to play on ultra before especially while streaming your streams are starting earlier and earlier now when well, my therapist is telling me i need to be going to bed at a decent time so i went to bed at like 12.30 last night instead of 6 in the morning. Alright, what's going on down here? We've got ourselves some tiger claws. I'm not really going for a netrunner at all. I'm do I'm taking breach protocols whenever I can just to grind out XP because we are playing on very hard and we do need to, um, you know, be the highest health we could possibly be. Due to the new... Um, uh, status effects that come with apartments, we are using refreshed and rested, which is extra XP and extra regenerating health. I don't want to have any spoilers. Could you talk about what the data mine gave us? I cannot. I want to hold it back until the video's out. Oh, 
Tiger Claws usually use smart weapons, so we need to be moving. I'm an assault rifle grenade user. Um, I've done in the past. This is my fifth playthrough. I've, yep. Uh, thank you very much. S-Y-R-R-R. -R -R. I'm going to call you Sir with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sub is the best way to support me other than direct uh, donations through exclamation point donate in the chat. If you want to send me a game on my wish list, exclamation point wish in the chat. So thank you very much for supporting. Thank you very much for being here. If you're new to the channel, think about following. Yeah, so this is my fifth playthrough. I've done three playthroughs on PC, one playthrough on console. Um, uh, okay. uh, send us a decryption key, put up the antennas quiet, have the transit directly to me, standard frequency, and ping me if anything goes wrong. So there's some kind of antenna that needs to be found. Might be up there. I think it might be up there. Um, do silencers, do all silencers disable ricochet now? No, there's a whole bunch of silencers. There used to just be the one model, um, and it seemed like the entire point of silencers was stupid. Uh, but now we have, like, a couple dozen silencer models, and because of that, um, you really can pick or choose. The assault rifle silencers are more for adding ricochet, and the hand brakes are more, the, the handguns more are muzzle brakes, which do take away ricochet, but actually increase direct damage. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's go up here. Oh, it's right here. Hello? Horizon, maybe? I have not played Horizon Zero Dawn. I do own the first one on Steam, and I'd love to play it, but it's just... I kind of have a rule where I can only play games that I'm researching. I, I can only play games that I'm, I'm making videos on. Reported crime, one thing led to another. Oh, the irony. Those gang goons installed a gadget to track the cops, and now the cops can track them right back. Technology serves no man, it seems. Zero loyalty. Favorite quest? Oh, goodness. Probably Dream On. Everything related to, uh, Perala's. Hey. I was wondering where you were. You wanna play? Done. It always sends me back to automatic love. I'm not doing main quest right now. Silencers are good because they multiply your stealth damage. Yeah, and I'm not doing a stealth build, you know? So, next gig would be a Cyber Psycho. Let's go. We drive with a controller. This is an Xbox One Sport controller. It's got rubberized back. It's my favorite controller I've ever owned. I would love to one day be able to own all three of the colors in that series. Because they, they came in white, blue, and red, and I own the red. Anywho, my favorite controller I own. X, look it up. Xbox One Sport Red. I, ran, I got a lot of bugs when I played last last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, everybody did. Nowadays, it seems like every bug they could fix has been fixed so far. Obviously, there's still a lot to fix, but as it currently stands, this is a this is the game that should have been shipped originally. You have the 2018 Elite Controller. I've never used an Elite Controller. They're $150. For a controller? Oof, I don't know about that. I mean, I use controllers every day, so maybe it's a good investment, but I haven't heard amazing things about the Elite Controllers. I've heard they were just kind of shitty. So there's an NCPD something over here. We're, just, we're here, so we might as well take care of it. Please stop following. Thank you very much for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Yes, but yes, I am. It's true. I am killing you off. I got this red DualShock 3 that I've had for ages. Please stop following. DualShock 3, a PS3 controller. Really? Yeah, I have a, I have a blue DualShock 3. I have a black DualShock 3. I've never been a fan of DualShock controllers. I've always been a fan of Xbox controllers. 
And I have no console affinity. Like, I'm not Please one console already. over the other, you know? I just really love the design of Xbox controllers. Alright, we have another quest here. The problem about containers is they're usually all the same. Usually not a problem, but now we have no idea which one is the thing you want. So the plot thickens. So we need to find one of these containers. You always kill bodies that are still alive for a little bit of extra XP. Please stop following. Oh, well, it, it, it's, it, okay. It literally is pointing to it, so it's, it's up here. I don't know about that. So there's a cyber psycho right behind me. Cyber psycho bloody ritual. Where's he at? Oh, he's just literally over there. All right, well, we have the double jump for a reason, because I can do that. Look at that, you can just get up on the building. Double jump's the best power. Double jump is the best power. Please stop following. Yo, thank you for the follows. Yes, nearly all of them. Did they fix the cars? Yes, each car handles differently. They completely redid, redid the car handling model. Um, yeah. Cars just control differently. Oof, I What in the it. fuck? Uh, maybe it shouldn't trigger when I was up here. Because I could barely see it from up here. What's your favorite gang in the gang? What's your favorite gang in the game? Uh, I've never thought about it. Uh, that's a good question. My brain said Mox initially. But I'm thinking about it and I don't... I don't actually think it's Mox. I think... I think 6th Street. Because 6th Street isn't actually like... 6th Street are war veterans that are like, that don't trust the government anymore because they feel like they've done them nothing but wrong. And so... They just kind of like take care of each other and they only attack those that need to be attacked. They only attack those that are threatening them. They're not they're not really individuals that that go after other individuals for no reason. You know, like the Tiger Claws, they only attack when provoked. But the Tiger Claws are still organized crime. Uh yeah, they are incredibly nationalistic and patriotic. Yeah. You okay? Hey. Lilith has concealed the death circle from the ancestors' eyes. The hell is this? Got a bad feeling, V. Better look around. Please stop following. Bleeding from the eyes and numerous stab wounds, no indication of resistance, so they were drugged. Please stop following. Hey, they fixed it. Yeah, make Vicar love you, G. This hey, quest Tyler works. MC Vicar House Cyberpunk. Ouch. It's great. Holy shit, they really fixed this Please quest. This following. quest never worked. <laughs> Grimy. Oh shit, this is actually kind of actually kind of spooky. Oh, shit. I've never had it work this well for me with all, like, the breathing and the running around and stuff. Please stop following. It looks better at night. Probably does. Please huh? stop following.
Gotcha! Read the shard found on her. In a second. Ow! Fuck. Quit it. And it got stuck behind a box. Yeah, that happens, you know. Message Regina. Okay. All right, so this was a maelstrom uh, induction ritual that went horribly wrong. Got some assaults in progress. Please stop following. Uh, do you think we'll see more of the romances in future expansions? I think they've already expanded the romances significantly in, um... Hey. Yes. Yep. Thanks. No problem. Give me money now. Am I going to be carrying the breathing sound for the rest of this playthrough today? I'm still hearing the breathing sound. Just in case anyone from CDPR is watching to embarrass them, I'm going to keep the breathing sound going. I'm not going to turn it off. Thanks, Tyler. Oh shit, Miles is here. <laughs> v has asthma. Yeah, he just needs a shot of some... He just... Yeah. He just... Fuck. V just needs some inhaler. Yeah, listen. The, the, the cyber psycho breathing is still happening. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean that one. Yeah, you should probably run away. Uh, I'm pushing buttons. I shouldn't be pushing. It's been a constant bug since 1.0. Well, how, that, how about that, then? You know, I think automatic loves level design. Terrible. Who the hell Please made automatic me. loves level design? Let me off the bike. Tyler McVicker, Liam Blasco. Ah! Ah! Headshots only! <gasps> Headshots only, what is this? A TF2 casual yeah. server? Alright, I see how it's gonna be. <laughs> you know, I have yet to do automatic love on, on this playthrough. Oh, and we're probably gonna enough. have to do it right now. Let's do automatic love. <gasps> Let's go talk to a let's go talk to a therapist sex worker mommy. Okay, so I'm literally just fucking with you. Uh, Toastbender is Miles Tost, senior level designer in CD Projekt Red. Worked on this game. He streams all the time, like Pavel, uh, Sasco, and Ayano, and uh, yeah, uh, he did the automatic love level, which I learned because when I had gotten a bug a while ago and I reported it to him, he's like, well, that's my level, so whoops. And that's information you really shouldn't give me because then I'm gonna tease you about it. Yo, he pulled a wire from his palm, sick. Yeah, I know, isn't that sick? Oh god, don't just start asking questions about bugs to a level designer. That's not how game design works. You're asking bugs about things that aren't level designed to a level design. Like... People need to learn how video games are made. 
People need to learn that video games are made by human beings and not faceless mega corpse with a bunch of throwaway individuals that don't mean anything. Because that sure is how both executives and gamers treat people that make games. Oh no, did the breathing stop? Dang it. I thought it was gonna be embarrassing. No, I don't know who the lead designer is. Who's the lead designer? I bet their name is like Pavel or Martin. Martin. Calling all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported over on Richmond Street. Intel indicates Maelstrom gang members dealing in lethal oh, stimulants in the area. They're led by Tom Hayden, aka Emir, a known serial killer. Night City authorities have offered a reward for neutralizing the gang. Man, I have killed more people than anybody in the Maelstrom gang. Hey, Miles, why is the beast PT wrong? That's a, I think that's a question for the, for the CD project executives. Oh, oh. During their next investor call, people should ask, hey, uh, CDPR investors, how long should these PP be? And then they'll be like, oh, two meters. Because I'm a billionaire who invests in video game companies, and I have a two meter PP. No, that's just how like life works when you have a billion dollars. You get you get you get PP surgery for a really long time. Please stop following. It would constantly get in the way. You know, Miles would know from personal experience. That's actually how Miles got the lead level design job. He just showed up to the office one day and was like, and they were like, "Oh my God, we need you on our." <sighs> Wait, no, you're talking about different companies here. Oh, sorry, that's right. You work for that big PP company. Forgot. Yeah. You know, the idea of the the thing. What's what's the fake penis company in this Oh. I thought I was standing behind cover. Miles. I'm positive I was standing behind cover so that I could talk about big peepees, but I guess not. Alright, let's do this again. Suspected organized crime activity <clears throat> reported over on Richmond Street. Intel indicates Maelstrom gang members. Hold on. I see at least my ID skills are on par with your skills as a gamer. At least one of us can fix them in a patch, right? So, I've been noticing snipers have been shooting through walls a lot. Is that on purpose? Well, <laughs> he looks like the scout. I'm not purposely going for that, but does he really? Yeah, okay, I see where you're coming from. That was not a tech weapon sniper, though. That, that was not a tech shot. That was just a standard ballistic sniper. there's a laser that means it's a sniper is that true Chicken, want to do it? 
Oh, um, in all seriousness, Miles, uh, I think I actually found, like, a legitimate bug, if you're still here. The snipers have lasers to show that they are snipers. Okay, well, okay, regardless, I, I think I legitimately did find a bug. Um, hold on, just let me quickly scrap this stuff. Um, so... Where is it? Yeah, what are these? What is this? I keep finding these weird items that don't have names, and I can sell them for one Eddie. It's not junk. It's, it, I can't scrap it. It's just, like, there are these random quest-specific items that sometimes don't have names and sometimes are just called report. Please stop following. Please follow. Near the channel, please follow. Yeah, sometimes they don't have a, a bucket icon and they don't have um, a description or nothing. Like it seems like there are some nulled items in the uh, in the junk. Uh, what's it called? The junk array or whatever. The junk list. They should be in your shards, no? Mm -mm. The, the one data shard from the Maelstrom gang, yes, but this one that's just called Report? I mean, let's see. Stealing an illegal stimulants in the area. You're led by Tom Ayer. That didn't do anything. obsolete quest items. I would need to investigate it, but I doubt it's intentional. Well, it's not just this one is the thing, right? It's like the tenth blank item I've found. I don't think this one's possible. 1C55... Oh, yeah, it is. AKA... Alright, so I did both of those. Yeah, it's still there. That's ah, it's, no it's a broken serious. item. Night City Authority oh. have offered a reward for neutralizing the bugs. Get my uh, ball sack in. Alright, thanks, Miles. Ask Pavel if he'll be my new dad. My current dad's not so great. Unless you want to be my dad, in which case I'm down. But I'm pretty sure we're closer in age than, than me and Pavel. Also, if you could be totally honest with me, how many Pavels do you know now that you live in Poland? I can ask Pavel for sure, sure. But how old are you? You're like in your late twenties, right? I know you just had a birthday. Is this TF2? Yeah. Don't tell everybody this is a uh, new TF2 update that you play. <laughs> you know what's it's on. It hurts. Why, uh, why is Poland so bad at naming their babies? Why do they gotta name them the same damn thing every time? Is that like... Is it like how in China you can only have two kids and in, in Poland if you have a boy you, roll, you flip a coin? If it's heads you can name it whatever you want. If it's tails, I'm sorry you've got another Pavel. That's why some families have like eight Pavels. Blow you back to the stone age! Ow. Nah, it's not cyberpunk, it's TF2. You know, CD Projekt Red is actually full of, um, human beings 
Rockstar Games is full of human beings. Valve Software, full of human beings. Contrary to popular belief, video games are made by human beings and not, you know, just emotionless robots that you can yell at. <laughs> unless, unless they're a person that's been working at Valve for longer than 15 years. In which case, yell at them as much as you want. They're untouchable and every, like most of them aren't human at this point. No, nah, but it's funny because it's like, the fuck are you sending me? Rat poison, bleach, got three clients in the ER. Uh-oh. Not rat poison. Not in my night city. No, but it's, okay, Mr. McVicker, I'll yell at obscenities at Robin Walker. You see, Robin is like one of the few people that that rule doesn't apply to. But just because he's a nice guy doesn't mean he gets off scot-free. You can yell at Robin Walker. <laughs> because he'll actually probably listen and try and help. And the same can be said for, like, like, uh, Dave Riller. He's really nice. Alden Kroll, he's really nice. Can you still not deflect bullets with Mantis Blades? I don't know. I am not using Mantis Blades. Please stop following. Thank you for the follows. If you're new to the channel, please follow. But it's, yeah, it's funny because it's, like, that's my goal uh, for the next year is to try and teach people, at least my viewers, that no one, following. no one goes out, no one wakes up in the morning, you know, who actually works in the games industry as a, as a brute force developer, whether that be artist, writer, designer, programmer, level designer, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Any of those individuals. Nobody wakes up and goes... Let's scam people today. Let's make a bad game and sell it like it's a good game. Ah, it's my dream. I spent years applying to companies to achieve my dream and live my passion as a game designer. And, uh, we're gonna absolutely ruin my reputation on purpose to make a bad game. Let's go. No one does that. Yell at CEOs. Yell at executives. Yell at investors. Yell at the stockbrokers that fucking value and devalue companies based following. on very short-term performance. Bulk game developers. The people that actually do the damn work. You think investors have written a line of code in their damn life that has nothing to do with spreadsheets? And predictive models on fake money that we made up? Because money's fake. No! You think people that worked on Cyberpunk, like the actual people that worked on Cyberpunk, thought, Damn, this is a terrible game. Man, we gotta make this game even shittier, and we gotta push it out the door because we don't fucking care. You think they said, you think that's what they thought? No, they were like, holy shit, why do we have to put this out in so soon? It's not done! Oh, come on! And then it's out and everybody wants to kill him and they're like, Yeah, we thought that too, but we can't say anything because we're under NDA! Ah! But everybody's like, you know, fuck them. We're out for blood because I spent my $60. Shouldn't have been too ambitious. No, they should have shipped now! The game would have... Uh, no, I'm not even going down that road. Hmm. What is this picture? I I can't identify what this is. Is, the hand, is this a... Is the hands grasping at a rock? Is it a rock? Is that a rock? It looks like a, like a boulder. Oh, it's a rack. What's that? <sighs> this game was ambitious because they wanted to one-up themselves from Witcher 3, a game that was already incredibly ambitious yet successful in its ambition. This game was not designed by committee. Liam. Just color me pink. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. 
Also, I'm sorry for ranting and probably made Miles leave. Miles, did you leave because of my ranting? Is it faster to jump than drive? In some cases, yes. Uh, yeah, I think I scared Miles away. Do you ever want to scare a game developer talk about their uh, their investors that and their executives that they answer to? They're like, don't, don't, let's, don't stop fucking no. <laughs> I'm not repeating that, but yeah, okay. Thank you for reminding me about that. He said he was already on the way out. Oh, okay. This time, I love these stores that were made out of shipping containers. It's so cool. You cooking up anything good today? I don't deal in anything less. Gotta respect yourself and your customers, too. Fuck you, kid. Mobile games can be good. There's some great mobile games. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Kid vendor, that's rare. He's like the only one. Yeah. You wouldn't have any medically certified, would you? Certified? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You see, I used to uh, fly with the trauma team. Yeah, junior paramedic, six months. Wouldn't believe the things I've seen. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd like to see what you can do for me. Plenty. I'm sure. Man, can't believe that guy worked worked at, worked for Trauma Team. How much am I going to spend on that? Oh, okay, that's not bad. Cool. Yeah. So, bye bye. When do you think they're going to be adding FOB on consoles and mod support for consoles? FOB on consoles, I don't know. But I know they're thinking about it. Uh, it's it's a bit more difficult because it's FOV is part of the opt else. optimization, uh, but Look pipeline, but like top level consoles, Series X, Series and S, PS5, soonish. You want to buy, buy. You want to talk. Mod support talk. for consoles, never. I I I, I do not think I'd you're like going to be getting mod support for consoles. So buy some. Man, fuck you. Who the hell are you? Yeah, this game's inaccurate because we're never going to make it to 2077. Don't fucking remind me. Please stop following. Thank you very much. There should be a max trade button. I completely agree.
Please stop following. V, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Mm. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. All right, my good friends, the televangelist Bryce Stone, don't ask, it's complicated, needs our help. His little boy was kidnapped and brutally murdered a few days later. The NCPD dropped the case due to lack of evidence. Bryce decided to take matters into his own hands and found a BD scroll of his murder. But the virtue's heavily edited, meaning there aren't a lot of clues to go on. If you can get your hands on the raw cut, there's a chance we could identify the murderer. The virtue was put out by two XPD tuners, Godfrey and Frederick at Northside. I'm betting they still have the original somewhere. Just watch out for the maelstromers that are guarding them. Cool. Daddy and his doll sitting in their high castle giving me some orders like I'm some dog? A white mouse, Louia, and he's a legit. Whoa, so this the be on end all the nice city now? Five, five, one CE9. Cool. Why don't I just short circuit myself while I'm at it? Ah, fuck that noise! Piece of shit! See what? One where she drowns? Ah, one where the borked out fuck gets freaky on a granny with a slice and dice. Still can't fathom why you watch that shit. Seeing those weak, flabby meat suits ugh, gets me harder than crow. So this game pro proposes that, you know, as time goes on, uh, porn gets more and more extreme. Get, oh. Yeah, no problem, Tossed. I'm gonna have to check one of my older VODs because I did sell one of the other items. And I don't think that vendor is still going to have it as a buyback. I think that's that's a 24-hour window, right? Looking at you? Can't help thinking retail... Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Oh, so they did add a max quality quantity button, and I'm just an, a dumbass. Recon grenades are so fucking pointless. Dude, they still have that upgrading path. I'm gonna fall asleep if they don't change it. I don't know what you mean. Gaben told me to stop following, so I guess I have to unfollow. Ah, damn it. I thought people wouldn't notice. Wait, is it work hours for CDPR people right now? What are you doing watching the stream? Alright, let's try that again. V, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. So yeah, like I was saying before I got killed, this game is asserting that... And I mean, the original source books were asserting this, that porn is getting... Like, as time moves forward, porn is getting more and more 
like extreme certain fetishes are getting like crazier and crazier in terms of like abuse towards the sexual partner. Um, and I mean, if you look around, even nowadays, that's true. If places like, oh, I'm not gonna name a bunch of problematic things, but the things that got Pornhub in trouble, right? And so if that's a problem now and, you know, things have to keep, like, getting more and more extreme as time goes on, then, like, legitimate snuff porn and, like, really, really crazy physical abuse may one day be normalized. And so in this universe, these XPDs are effectively snuff porn, but they're, like, way more popular than you'd expect. You know, it's not just fucking 4chan anymore. It's, it's a lot. Hey, you trying to get me killed? But in the lore of cyberpunk, these XBD, um... Oh, that guy must have been the guy that killed me. The XBDs are these really, really insanely violent, uh, abusive porn things. But instead of being acted out, they're legitimate and people are, they're, they're murdering people on camera. But because of how brain dances work, you feel like it's you who's doing the killing, like down to the, you know, impulses and like the brain functionality and stuff. This is a thing, ethics research is a thing in the real world. Have you been on 4chan? Just because there are ethics researchers doesn't mean, you know, people are gonna wanna masturbate to crazier and crazier and more illegal shit. Go on to 4chan GIF or 4chan V. And then tell me about ethics research. I don't know if you're talking about the video game or Gay Ben's playing for brain interfacing. Gay Ben's playing for brain interfacing is what brain dances are supposed to be. That's that's a brain dance. Now, I'm not suggesting that Gay Ben is fucking researching this stuff so that he can, you know, do porn. You know, crazy, violent snuff porn. I'm just saying, like, you know, that's effectively what the brain dance system is. Oh, I haven't been on V or uh, B or any of those for a very, very long time, but I used to go on them to... I used to go on V to see just, like, what kind of conversations were going on in case there was, like, actually any kind of leaks that come out of it, because leaks do go on 4chan sometimes, but I had to completely stop going on that website 100%, because it was just... Holy shit, not good for my mental health. That website is... Locked. And then 8chan got so bad that they had to rebrand as 8coon or something, and it's just like, let it die, you fucking pedophiles. Jesus Christ. I found, I found the thread of the person who wanted to kill Electra and wear her body, her skin as a suit to have sex with me from 8chan. That's where I learned about 8chan. Why are you talking about weird sites? Because cyberpunk explores, like, the men like the underbelly of society, and, like, this is where they- this is where the writers think we're heading. Yeah, don't go- don't go to HM. You- it, like, like, you could actually get arrested kind of shit on that site. Like, it's, like, not safe for life kind of bullshit. Don't- don't fucking do it. Right there. Okay, so we're researching these these murderer, pedophile, individual type people, and there are these two brain dance recorders and editors that create these things and sell these things. And now we're here at the place where they film it and edit it. We're at their studio. And we're about to approach the the, the, the people that make them. Here we go. No, no, leave it. Some go for that extra kick. 
Put out two cuts. Sweat in, sweat out. Hey, Animal, human bodies, public. humiliation, public, old, young, victim, point of view, pubic hair, mild pain, fendom, penetration, force, kids, force, death, raw, overstimulation, risk, suicide, virgin, nylon, tied. Uh, I need some gear for tuning BDs. Got anything you'd recommend just as long as it's a reasonable price? Hey, Max, you want to put it us out of business? If the equipment is out there, I'm just happy to lend whatever, but I'm not using anymore, by the way. What happened to your scrolls? Yours were some of the best. Great, I'll drop by someday and take it off your hands. Don't worry about the scrolls. I'm way too deep to give it up now. Yo, yo, Choom. Heard you had some minor hiccups with the new BD security features. Freddy mentioned something about not being able to reach the olfactory layer. Here's the dealio. The features were included in a new update for the Arasaka tech. I'll need a pro to bypass the protocols, and it just turns out I know just the guy. Hal Cantos. I'll give him a call. I'll know just what to do. All right. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. What, what, what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. Got a little family figure. affair going Father, here. Father, son! Huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Father, son. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. Father, son. You, you, you want to see something really hard for? Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. XBD of a preacher's little boy. Murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? I just got a fresh batch with boys. No clue who their daddies are. They're gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit rider on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Are we talking black, white, Chicano? Any identifying marks? Style of execution? Papa? I think I know the one he wants. BD 9430. Preacher's boy, who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They, they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Keeps things secure. For everyone involved. XBD was raw when you got Please it. Please stop following. Must have noticed Thanks something in the background. Some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror. Tattoo. Anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections. N not who makes them. Had enough of you two. I'll find it myself. Okay. Shut up. You speak, you die. Please stop following. Freddy! Frederick, answer me right now! My only boy, stay with me! Bye! Don't So no head. <laughs> hey man, if all you're doing is editing things of people losing their sons, I'm killing your son. I'm leaving you around to think about what the fuck you did. Oh, and also you're totally gonna get arrested because I'm gonna tell Regina. Great work, B. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Thank you. I, I know you can get an iguana as a pet from the heist. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't do it because it's just for uh, the nomads. All right. Got some new contracts lined up for you. Do a good job and your name will pop up on the radar for anyone who's anyone. So that's part of the, how this new system works. So because I completed that following. set, new gigs opened up for Regina. Pretty cool. But we're still up here to clean out these NCPD side hustles, so. Oh, you can get it no matter what? It's for everyone? Oh, I thought it was just for the, the Nomad because of the introduction sequence with the, uh, the Iguana. That's interesting. Reload reduces reload time for assault rifles and submachine guns by 10%. Increases headshot damage with sniper rifles and precision rifles. No, this one. Yep. 
All right, so we did that one. And um, let's take the double rain. The iguana in Compeki is different, though. I thought that what they were implying was that the iguana that you delivered was the one that ended up in Arasaka. Now, if that's not the case, then that's not the case, and I was just reading into it incorrectly. Yeah, you you get the egg from Yorinobu's apartment. I know that, because the egg's not new. The egg was in the build of the game from the beta, the version of the game that you can play if you put a physical disc into a last-gen console and turn your internet off. That egg was in the game at that point. And in fact, my save file on the PS4 has the egg. So what I'm curious about is, was that secret in that version and they just re-enabled it? Now that we know what the egg is used for. I'll have to check. I know about the secret button that has the, the song lyrics. I don't know what it's for. It's obviously for something. I don't know what it is. But they love adding little secrets like that. Please stop following. Thank you very much for the follow. If you're new to the channel, consider it. We do a lot of these kind of streams. They re-enabled a lot of stuff, so yeah. So, yeah, it's just because, like, a lot of it had to be turned off so that you could optimize the last-gen experience. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I really hope they just forget about last-gen consoles. Like, it's a lost cause, you know? How many times did CDPR restart development? That's a really difficult question that I don't have the answer to. Um, because it really all depends what you mean. The prototype wasn't really a restarted development, it was legitimate development starting, right? But there were incredibly different variations on the story that they were developing. Like, one version, Jackie didn't die, he got uh, paralyzed from the waist down, and he had a sister who would take care of him and you could visit. Another version, Johnny Silverhand wasn't in your head. Or he was, but he actually didn't die, and you and young Johnny were supposed to go and find old Johnny, who currently was living on the moon, and a large portion of the game actually took place on an Arasaka-owned moon base. That later turned into the Crystal Palace, but then the majority of what was developed for the Crystal Palace was changed. So, yeah, a lot changed. Please stop following. They had a lot of different versions of the story. And as far as I can tell, the version of the story that we're playing nowadays didn't really start legitimate development until like late 2017, early 2018. NDA secrets you have related to Cyberpunk? Um, I'm not under any NDA with CD Projekt, no. Last generation consoles are not the cause. The issue is the duct taped improvised code in order for the game to barely function. Hey, something north side You're just erupted and half and half. it's got Maelstromer's hauling ass Who out of thought? there. See what's going on exactly and let me know. What the hell? When do you think the expansion will come out? This summer. I'm not seeing any other gang activity around the bridge so we can safely rule out a score settling. Seems to me that one of my maelstromers just had a bad day or dialed his implants too high hard to tell when it comes to that all i know is that the rest up the rest showed up at the wrong time and a bloodbath ensued i'm betting on cyberpsychosis even maelstrom's hardest harshest welcomes don't come okay. the big thing that's holding the last gen consoles back is the lack of ram and yeah, the fact that they're using hard oh, drives. Interesting. Like, this game is installed on a PCIe Gen 4 M.2 SSD. Like, literally one of the fastest SSDs you can use. Right I can't move. That was weird.
Now I need to chase him. Farewell shard. All right. I did the blood bat spike. -o. I, I did that at the beginning of the stream, yeah. It's fine. I didn't die. We're playing on very hard. I'm just very good at the game. What are you gonna do? This is a cool area. What are your opinions on the music of Cyberpunk? Fucking brilliant, man. The music has always been one of the strongest suits for this game. Like, I feel like even everybody that's like, yeah, the game sucks. Like, yeah, the game is pretty good. Yeah, the Bloodbath Psycho, to me, is significantly easier than the Portal Delamain because there's a hell of a lot more you can do against the Bloodbath Psycho. I mean, you can literally do what I do and cheese it. The Blood Bat Psycho is a strictly melee character, so you can literally just run away and hide up in the rafters if you have double jump. What won the award for music? Last of Us 2, right? Landmines are the most deadly boss. I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to disagree with you. What do you know about the catch cyber psychosis? I finished it and nothing happened. What are you talking about? Last of Us 2 is overhyped. I really can't give an opinion because I haven't played it. And I'm going to be honest, I really don't have any, any intention to. I'm not a massive fan of the super linear money dog style game can i open this no okay. i like linearity in first person single player first person shooters otherwise i am all about that uh open world life you know love me some open world games Please stop following. Thank you for the follow-up here to the channel. Consider it. I'm not a massive fan of Call of Duty because it's it's military propaganda. Call of Duty for a very long time was just shooting around people and it's like come on. Even when I was a kid, I'm like, that's this is absurd. I always thought Spec Ops the Line did an excellent job of like talking about the legitimate ramifications of it, a game like Call of Duty in real life. Which it is for some people. Please like, stop following. You know, it's complicated, but still. If anybody hasn't played Spec Ops The Line, this is your time to play Spec Ops The Line. knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I 
Arma 3, see the thing is, Arma 3 is just so overly complicated that it kind of turns me off from trying to get into it. But I see its appeal. I do see why some people would be interested in Arma. Ever since they didn't like actually lampoon Ronald Reagan and they celebrate like mm. Mm. I mean yeah the fact that Arma is a legitimate war sim that's a great point the fact that Arma is a legitimate war sim as realistic as possible then yeah that's that's showing what yeah that's not it yeah you're completely right Both because of subject matter and also you stand in a bush for 30 minutes. Remember Daisy? Arma 3 is insanely boring. It has its place for certain people. I don't know. Certain people really like it. Is that the last reported crime in this area? Hey. Remember America's Army? Let's not fucking start. <laughs> yes, I do remember America's Army. Yes, I, I do. The fucking U.S. government-funded war video game? Yes, I remember that. Okay, there's a sunken van somewhere. Ooh. 
Someone modded the rifle that someone's using into H3. And the ergonomics are kind of whack. Really? That's interesting. Five five one C. Got him. What's your favorite mission in this game? The Dream On sequence, which is the side missions with the Paralysis family. Remember Ride to Hell Retribution? I do. Never played it. CDPR had to, yeah, about a hundred songs were made for the radio, original songs. Look at that. Look at that. Hell yeah. We did it. We did it. Do some gigs. Watson is clean of crime. Let's do some gigs. Oh, we're 100% in this shit. I'm not hearing music at all. What's going on? Okay, there you go. Are you going to do a modded playthrough on stream? Yeah, that's after the mod list will be done, and the mod list is being worked on after the 100%. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. You fine folks haven't seen anything like this, and I'm not sure you want to. I wish he didn't interrupt songs. Into several major TV networks a recording of the Maelstrom Gang's secretive initiation ritual. Ever heard the skin crawling wails of a man getting his eyes gouged without local anesthetic? Well, I have, and I don't recommend it. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope That's because you're still of me. Up. Is that reactivity because is it of a mirage? me? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Because I got Regina that recording. Send you some malware on purpose. A demon by bad. The runner you're gonna help out. I've you already upgraded the LSS. So, no, unfortunately Spike not. With the files I send you. More deets attached. Regina Jones. Bad got in touch with me. Looks like they're short nicknames and simple gigs. I'll spare you the fixer spiel and I'll get right to the point. 
You find bad malware attached to this message. You'll have to download it. Just be careful. It's hella dangerous. And then upload it to the subnet at the H11 Mega Building. Piece of cake, right? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you'll have tigers on the prowl. Bad's plan is to attack some Arasaka on subnet and use the H11 as a smoke screen. Clever, right? Instead of leading it to them, all traces of bad breach will lead right back to the Mega Building. FYR, our Netrunner already hacks the Mega Building elevator, so getting into the server room won't be a problem. Sick. Maybe a different game's DLS because it's been a while since I've messed with it. I'll look into it, but, I mean, as I currently understand it, I'm using the newest version of DLSS. Please stop following. Hey, thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Brat, ты лучше туда не подключайся. Поймаю, ты даже разговаривать не стану. Last time I checked, service hours, not there. Please stop following. Follow. Question, of, uh, question always want to ask, is the gang public? Should they be underground secret? Why is the gang sign all over the city so obviously? Because the NCPD is following. just another gang, incredibly underfunded, and the fact that they can get away with what they do is kind of a point of pride for most of the gangs. So this is one where I don't need to come in silently. So we're just gonna go in pens blazing. Five five point six fifty. Start with a short circuit. Again here! I don't have time for it! Come on! Ah, God damn it! Did I not turn it off? No, I didn't. When we do a modded playthrough, by the way, we won't be going for 100%. I don't have that kind of time. The LSS is, is friggin' magic. It's, it's, it's free frames for those that have the tech for it. How many hours do you have in this game right now? A uh, 100 plus whatever I have on the PC. I have a hundred on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I haven't started playing on an Xbox at all. So right now I have what is this? I have 248 hours, so it'd be 350-ish hours. The scabs are of Eastern European descent. You are correct. Let's see here. Patience is a virtue. Sit tight. Send you a shipment of glitter. All right, truck dealers. Wait a minute. Regina sent them a shipment of glitter? What? Oh, no. Broken back. As I understand it, they do. They added a lot of news reports. And the USSR didn't collapse in Cyberpunk, you're correct. 
they added a hell of a lot of news reports on the radio. The only thing that I wish that they would do is that the news reports don't interrupt the music you're listening to, which is a constant thing. It happens all the time. Alright, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any um, free experience by opening a door or something. Milk Interruptions should be in between songs. That's what I was saying. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh shit! A purple. Yeah. He resist. What is? It? Oh, cool. What did I just pick up? Some kind of shoes? Purple shoes? Ooh, some good shoes. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, you should think about it. What games would you like to see me play? Aside from, obviously, this one. Is there, are there any other games you'd like to see me play? Cruelty Squad? I don't joke. I'd totally do that. I'd be play it. That's happy, which means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Steam Next Fest Contract demos. Contract closed. Yep. Thanks, V. No problem, Bob. Uh, let's go. Let's do another one. Please stop all oh, right. No, don't make it. I do a yes. Will I do a video on 1.5 in the overall state of Cyberpunk? Yeah, I have a couple videos planned. We're just trying to quickly get through 100% run as fast as we can. That's why we've been streaming so much lately. In the meantime, I have um, three Valve videos I need to finish up. So, looks like we found the last honest cop in this city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Uh, okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this it gig. Uh, yeah, it is. Right? That, I used to be a mod I that I know. used. Was... Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. Showing the, showing the song. What are these? Garbage shrimp? Uh, what do you expect? Anna Hamill is blue-blooded cop through and through, the kind you expect to see on some NCPD promo. Beautiful, smart, honest to a fault. In her other words, she's a really bad fit for Night City. Her NCPD colleagues are another story. They have a back problem from sitting on fat wallets. This current case Hamill's working on has them all breaking out in hives. She's digging in the smuggling racket in the Kabuki market, which, if she makes any real headway, means bad business for her cop's buddy's finances. They want someone from the outside in the precinct to nip this thing in the bud. Normally that's where I'd leave it, but I want to add one more thing. I kind of feel bad for the girl. Rather she not flatline if you can avoid it. Convince her to skip town or drop the case and make a career change at least. Have you seen the new way to end this gig if you play as Nomad with 1.5? I have not. I'm not playing as Nomad, I'm playing as Corpo. Stop! Not one more fucking step! 
Who put out the hit? Give me a name. What I can tell you is who took the job. Huh. Fucking try me. Shit! Shit! They made a lot of places more explorable, it seems. Yeah. They've, they've added hundreds of interiors in 1.5. It's just I've done this gig so many times, I know where she's at. What happens if you're a nomad? Yeah, the Corpo beginning was significantly more polished than I've ever seen it. With 1.5, you convince her to skip town as a nomad, and you can find her in the Aldecaldo camp at the end. Really? Looking for a change. Come on, then. Time to tinker. That's actually sick. I didn't know that. Okay. You even have a small conversation with her? That's fucking sick. Optical camo. Double jump makes everything easier. I mean, you can still convince her to skip town, even if you're not a nomad. You've always been able to do that. But f convincing her to skip town and join with the Aldecaldos, the Aldecaldos, the Aldecaldo. That's sick. That's a really cool little detail. What is this? Uh, all good? Yep, thank you. When do you think they'll show more trauma team expansions? You didn't hear that from me. <sighs> All right, save. Stop! Not one more fucking step! Who put out the hit? Give me a name! Anna, drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. I fucking knew it. Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams. Motherfuckers. Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed. Fuck them. Fuck this job. Fuck this city. So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We choons all of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. So that's interesting to know that if I was... A nomad, I could be like, yo, I know some people, you'd live a good Got life. Nothing to say to you, June. That's sick. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that'd be cool. No, they added that. That's in the game. But I just, I'm not playing a nomad. Do you know what happens to her when you're not a nomad? I don't. I just think she leaves town. What I just did has been in the game since the beginning. How's the 1.5 experience? Really good. If you really want to wait, waiting until the first expansion out is probably a good idea, but that's up to you. Hello? Is it a, a hologram? No, my friend. It's clear 
I think what we have right now is what should have shipped with the game, and from this point forward would have been incredibly acceptable post-launch content with free DLC and new features and stuff. Because as of right now, we're looking at a transmog system, which, to be completely honest, is incredibly needed. Um, we're looking at a transmog system. We're looking at improved gang reputation and AI and stuff. We're looking at... Um, and the improved gang reputation and stuff actually ties into, uh, you know, Trauma Team, the NCPD, the, um, fucking, uh, Max Tech, because they're all... I fuck you! Invisible huh? human. Oh, wait, no, is it no, this guy? Shoot, just shoot. Right, right, right. Okay, well... When do you think they'll show more trauma team? I can't talk about that. Um, it's a lot of really cool ideas. But you gotta remember, the NCPD, just like any other gang, is a gang, as far as the game is concerned. So if they're upgrading how gangs operate, how gangs buy work, some... if you know what I mean? Like, depending on your behavior towards a specific gang, their behavior towards you will change. That... That's something that'll affect everything, not just, like, Maelstrom and, and the mocks and all that stuff, right? So, does that make sense? The, the NCPD is a gang as far as the source books are concerned. They're a gang. They're just a gang that's government funded. Make sense? And then Trauma Team is just privatized health insurance. Is the $155,000 car worth it? No. It's for completionists. We're gonna buy it, but we're gonna buy every car. Do you think that the cyberpunk universe is dragged down by older materials? No, because that retro-futuristic, like, futurism predictive stuff is part of the charm. The stuff that, you know, they got wrong is part of the charm, right? Read the source books from the 80s and their idea of future tech sounds fucking antiquated as hell. Oh wow, a tape cassette player that you can fit on your arm? Holy shit, no way. Like, in the 80s, Pondsmith and his, his team couldn't predict the idea of a single device that does everything, you know? Are frequently repeating NPCs still an issue? No, they did an amazing job fixing that shit up. Yeah, if you're doing the main quest, if you're just beelining the main quest, I, you're missing, like, more than 70% of the good, good shit in the game. Maybe engineers could have made that prediction, but authors, you know. I don't know about that.
That is a level 20 technical ability hack. Holy shit. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, consider it. This is the location of one of those DLC quests that we played. I think you're wrong about the game CyberMod from Red Rock Studios proves that. CyberMod is its own completely new system. It has nothing to do with how the game looks at gangs. Just because CyberMod doesn't treat the NCPD and Trauma Team as a gang doesn't mean the game internally treats them that way. Or the source books, which the source books do. And uh, do you know what I mean by source books? This game was a pen and paper RPG since the mid 80s. Did they add the um, gorilla arms to bypass doors? No, because, you know. Have you read the book? Yeah, I've read every source book for 2013 and 2020. I have not read any of the 3.0 card game or read the source book yet. How to survive with a katana build on hard difficulty? I keep getting pretty fucked up. Um, I find that if you're going to be doing melee, you should be a net runner on top of it. Could Nightcore take back Night City and or restore its former power it had initially? No. Please read Cyberpunk Red. No, I'm planning on it. I just haven't had the time. Plus, when I finally got the, the Red Source book at a decent price, because for a while it was sold out, uh, I was purposely forcing myself to take a break from Cyberpunk so that when Next Gen came out, I wasn't burnt out on the franchise. So, I'll read it soon. Please stop following. Alright, so we're going over there, actually. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Also, if you have a Twitch Prime, use it! You don't have to use it on me, but use it on someone. You're throwing away free money. You could be tossing at a, a, Twitch, a, Twitch, a Twitch streamer that you like. Ooh, I don't believe I survived that. What do you think about the upcoming anime? Will it affect the sales of the game? It depends how good the anime is. It's Studio Trigger, so it might be very good. But, I don't know. Some people don't understand that burnout is a huge issue. As a professional who's been in the industry uh, working professionally since 2011, I know. Does 2077 mention Lazarus Group? I don't think so. I could be wrong because I haven't seen absolutely everything this game has to offer. Red covers a part of the timeline where there's a real scarcity coming on with shipment and transportation lines interrupted due to conflict. Oh, so it's interesting to see how 2020 Red and 2077 connect and develop on each other. Red was developed in conjunction with CE Project. I think that's probably one of the reasons why they called it Red. Get out of this. Please stop following. This is Lyria. Thank you for the follow. And I mean... One of the reasons, Pawnsmith has had a lot of power over what could and could not be in the game. One of the reasons why you don't meet Morgan Blackhand is because Pawnsmith kind of requested it to be that way. Um, which is fine, and there's an interview where he goes over why he chose Black, why Blackhand shouldn't be in the game. Uh, however, and they like modeled him, and they... Um, they had a voice actor for him. There was going to be a whole bunch of story related to him, and they cut it all out of the game. There's a place to get all the source books and PDF. Here, 
All the veterans yours. were related to a side quest that were cut out of the game, unfortunately. I really wish that was left in because they need a purpose other than just asking for money. Boy, so good and you. God bless. It's actually called Red because of the red hued skies due to pollution. It was named that before CDPR even contacted Mike. Well, then that is a really funny coincidence, then. Is 2020 lore still canon in the 2077 timeline? Yep. All of it's... The only thing that is arguably uncanon is 3.0. Red kind of superseded 3.0. Even though 3.0 takes place in, like, what? The 2030s and 2040s. And then Red takes place in the 2050s. Uh, I manually up manually updated it, but I might have replaced it. I, I may have hey, I traced some clever back. meds. Someone's stashing them in a Kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More dates in the attachment. Thank you very much. No, I know that still happens, Elvis, but um, it's significantly reduced. You still need to optimize it somehow. If you're if you're fucking with the game's engine with unrealistic behavior, then yeah, weird things are gonna happen. Hi, where do I download the patch? It should happen automatically on your platform of choice. Uh, a few years back, I scrolled a little feature called How Affordable is Health, and it turns out not very. Even today, brah. Jesus, 50 years from now, we're still gonna fucking suck? My numbers showed only 3% of Night City citizens could afford healthcare. Holy shit, a lot of the change since. Or the worst. Please Some people are declining me. open war on rippers. Thank you for the follow. Some people are declaring open war on rippers, breaking into clinics, collecting meds and chems. No surprise there. And no surprise these rippers want to protect what's theirs. Ripper docs, by the way, aren't real doctors. They're a cheaper alternative to doctors, but more dangerous. That's in the source book. That's back in 2020 source book. They want you to recover a pack of stolen meds. Thanks to the GPS tracker hidden inside, we know exactly where to look. I think one of my favorite things I own is Hey, how's it? Here. Here's my Cyberpunk Red source book. I have yet to read it. I heard, wasn't there an expansion that came out not too long ago for Red? Um, but yeah, here's my Red source book. This came out what 2018. Um, and then here is my um, my Cyberpunk 2020 source book. This is a first edition from 1990. Um, and then here is my guide to Night City from 1991, first edition. Um, but my favorite thing that I own, hmm. I like to move everything around, I wonder if I can find it. Hey, how's it? Uh, I gotta, I gotta organize all my shit. I own an original Cyberpunk 1.0. Uh, source book from 1988, first edition. I was able to clip it on eBay for very, very cheap. And I, I don't think the person who was selling it knew what they had because that's worth like a couple hundred bucks. It's boarded and backed and everything. Um, that's eh, somewhere in here. The second one is the second edition of Cyberpunk. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I also own a bunch of other stuff like here's um here's the Witcher omnibus. You know, it's a bunch of Witcher comic books. Here's um the currently released Cyberpunk comic books. There's another one that came out lately that I don't have, but here's Cyberpunk Trauma Team Volume 1, Cyberpunk Your Voice. These were written by CDPR people and their side stories. They're really good. Um, yeah. And then I own a whole, I own a bunch of stuff. I don't need to own all this stuff. Here's a really cool book. Any Boomer Shooter fans, I recommend getting this. It's really hard to find nowadays. It's The Making of Doom 3. It's a book about like id software's journey to creating doom 3 it's really really cool it was released back in like 2004 it was in development for a very short period of time and there are so much like in development concept art and stories on like how they made what they made and why they made what they made 
It wasn't, I didn't know this existed for a really long time, but this is a really sick book. Look at that. These clay model pictures. Yeah, really cool stuff. Concept art. Yeah, I recommend this if you can find it. Um, see, now I'm nervous because that's work. That's like my favorite thing I own. Where the hell did we move it to? Oh, it's over there. Right. Okay. Never mind. I don't have Where's Johnny. Yeah. Do you think Cyberpunk will get free roam online mode? Yes. Right, let's clip the meds. These are scabs, right? Yeah. Do you know how I can get my hands on the Cyberpunk 2077 Collector's Edition art book? Are you talking about... talking about this the art of cyberpunk you're not talking about this what book are you talking about are you talking about the art book that comes with the collector's edition oh i don't know i don't own the collector's edition i really want it but i'm saving my money right now i can't afford to just be spending Especially if I need to get the next-gen consoles. There are several lore bits in Red Source book that potentially change a lot in 2077. Don't spoil it. I don't. I haven't read it yet. Plus, I'm, like, halfway through the Witcher series as well, but I'm also taking a break on Witcher until Next Gen comes out. We'll be doing 100% run of Witcher 3 as well when Next Gen comes out. Cyberpunk is much more balanced on Very Hard now. It's much more balanced, but you can still break it. Please stop I broke following. it. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. We do a lot of streams like this. How is this? Double doors, what the hell? Do you think they'll ever add cinematics to the game? What do you mean by that? Damn it. What's broken? Just certain builds. Like, if you're specializing in guns, the game is still incredibly easy. That's all I mean. Like, I'm specializing in, in a certain, a, like, one type of gun. I'm specializing in assault rifles. And then if you combine that with the grenade explosive buffs, you, the upgrading buffs, and then the extra health from athletics, you're never gonna, you know, unless you're sniped, you're not gonna fucking die. Stop! Sure, sure. And you be careful with that trigger. Nope, he's not carrying How a gun. How did you find me? I'm here by contract from a fixer. Nothing personal. I Hand told over the stolen you not meds, to move. And I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> The Pail of Paradol doesn't work! So, 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 so who's stealing from who? Who? Ripper docks. They're the Please real stop criminals. Following. Bail of Paradol. Short circuit is significantly nervous. For cyber Thank you for the uh, I'm not fucking crazy! Easy, easy. Shut up! Go away! If they're no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. 
You're the same as them. Rippers, politicians. The same as that fucking halt. I could think of a few different This game is Shut supposed up. to be more like GTA that 4 bastard he stole meets from, Fallout from New research. Vegas. He doesn't care about the sick. Uh. But, me. but soon, I'll find him. End him. Please stop following. Damn it. The death of one politician won't change anything. It will! These... These silver-tongued devils won't dare turn on their people ever again. A line. I'm drawing a line. Yeah, it's the they marketing. can't treat us this way anymore. They, they, they can't use us anymore. It's campaign season. The first ribbon cutter to push an anti-psycho policy after Holt's death is winning that election. No, no, that's not true. The people will understand. The system will start to fall. Everyone like you. They'll hunt you all down. Cyber psycho terrorists on one side, media backed politicians on the other. Now, who's the crowd favorite? Leave. Go, please. No, I can't without those mitts. Over there. I want to be alone. Poor son of a bitch. He's not the only one in NC with problems. Dude's got his back pinned against the wall, alone. What do you want me to do? Head to the lab, invent a cure? Maybe this murder Holt idea is not so bad. At least it'd piss a few people off. Sure, I guess, but what's the point? Better than burying your head in the sand. All right, well, we saved that guy. Well, there it is. There's no saving him. Not without a fight with a non-lethal weapon. There's no legitimately saving him. Yeah, the please stop following thing is generated by AI. You are correct. It's by UberDuck. All of my alert sounds are, are UberDuck. You can save him with a body check? What, the thing about the, the soldier? I'm a... You're a soldier, not a terrorist. That line. Yeah, my subscriber is, is Lamar Davis from GTA 5. My bits is oh, Alex Vance is from Half-Life 2. Um, and my follow is Gabe Newell. But they're all AI-generated. There's a lot of new secrets and Easter eggs in 1.5. Yeah, a lot of mysteries too. Thanks, V. Couldn't have been easy, but you handled it like a pro. Job done. Contract closed. Okay. When it rains, it pours, huh, V? Glad to hear you're not bumbling around. New contracts are available now. Sending the info. So yeah, you unlock the contracts a little bit at a time in different neighborhoods. So now we got two more. We've currently done half of the gigs for uh, Regina. There's so much content in this fucking game. Hopefully they add media and fixer character roles in the future. Oof, yeah, I know. But how do you do that? Like you'd have to, you'd have to make a whole expansion about around that. Yeah. 
How do you change the skin color? There's a couple ways. Um, you can use the mirror. You can use something called CyberCat, which is a tool. Unless you're playing on a console. PC, you can use CyberCat. Or you could just mod in different skin color. There's a bunch of different archive mods that, that change you what you can do with me. Will there be an expansion to the story where the game ends? I don't I don't know. I don't know where the expansions are gonna take place within the story. I vaguely know where they're gonna take place, you know. You can't change everything in the mirror. You can't change your gender and you can't change your voice. Uh, and obviously you can't change your life path. But there are tools that you can do. Um, I would suggest not changing your life path mid-game. I like the female V better. V, got a simple, clean -cut gig. I've only played one through with male. Please stop so following. Thanks folks. for the follow. Our public enemy's name is Blake, and he is one slippery motherfucker. More info on him and his MO attached. Thanks, bro. All right. Racketeering is the name of the game in Kabuki. The badges pretend like they don't see him when the hustlers like break real in the next victim. Please stop the script's always me. the same. Thank you very much for the follow. Act one, a promise, a promising money deal. Act two, an unpayable debt. The sucker this time is Roger Wang, a store chain owner. Blake already seals, seized ownership of one of the stores, but has bigger plans. Like I said, this kind of debt's unpayable, so Wang got wise and paid us instead. This human shit stain, Croyle, is about to disappear. So time to act is now. Please stop One more following. thing, Blake's got hustle from the animals watching his back. Animals are like the big bodybuilder type. Oh, maybe you can't change skin color from the mirror. I would recommend looking up a, a modding tool called CyberCat. There's a mod that lets you change everything in the mirror. Well, there you go. Yeah, I've purposely not been looking at mods too difficult, too hard because I don't want to spoil myself. I want to not really think about mods when I'm playing the game all the way through for the first time on 1.5. Do you know what I mean? But then when I'm done with this playthrough, when we do 100% it, um, we're gonna we're gonna mod the fuck out of the game. We're gonna mod it more than we've ever modded it before. Hell yeah. Five 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 D. Swapping lead. Go go go! Ah! 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 are ridiculously overpowered late game. They're ridiculously overpowered in early game. Grenades are insanely overpowered across the board. Oh 
you invest into engineering at all, grenades are insanely powerful. Level 19. Alright, Blake is dead. Let's loot his... There we go, street credit 35. Debtors. They should add a cooldown on the grenades, I completely agree. And when I play it modded, I add a cooldown on grenades and healing. 30 seconds on healing, 15 seconds on grenades. That's how you do it. Subusers can't post links. Um, how much stuff is left for you to complete in this run? Um, um, a lot. A lot. <laughs> We're gonna be playing this game for a week straight. Are you kidding me? This game's huge. Everybody acts like this game got nothing to do. This game is fucking huge. There's a breach in openable garage behind one of the walls in the small ballot. Oh, thank you. I wanted to give you a link for a mod for a GTA game, I believe, but my reply got removed. DM me. Yeah, I have links turned off for obvious reasons, because there's spam botters that try and give like, oh, buy free subs and viewers. So it's better just to not allow links, unless you're like a mod or a VIP or something. Nothing against you, nothing personal, but it's just, you know, it's kind of what you have to do when you're a streamer. No, there's the access point behind the wall, so it's back there, you mean? They really shouldn't let you breach a second time. Do you think they're gonna show more Johnny sequences? I really wouldn't know. It's perfect. Hey. Explode! Oh. Done. There is a problem, you got rid of it. Hell yeah. I'm happy, the client's even happier. Hell yeah. Good work, B. Thank you. Closed. All right. Please stop following. Um, Wad, what's the uh, chances of anything coming back from the extensive life path system? It depends how extensive you want. Because the answer to that question is 100% they're working on it, but it really depends on what you what you want from a quote-unquote expansive, extensive life path system. You know what I mean? I'm not using snipers, so that isn't usable. Grenades deal 10% more damage. Yes. And then over here. We'll scrap everything. The 
number to beat is 4.53. Nope. I'm not putting that on again. I think you unlock muzzle brakes at level 20 for assault rifles, you mean? Because that'd be sick, yeah. Let's see, there's another blank item. A lot of those. Alright. Insufficient components. Oh, I need a legendary component for that, huh? Okay, can I buy those from a vendor? You gotta wait and level more until you start looking for legendary gear. Well, that's the only gun I'm using. But yeah, you're probably right. Run. It did. I really wish there was a rare chance they would, like, give you money or something. Yeah, my reload speed is really fast right after killing someone due to cold blood. Again, if you know what you're doing, you can absolutely break the game. What's the difference between them moving on the ground and them being dead? If you shoot them when they're moving on the ground, Please stop the game used to give you a bunch of experience, but I guess hey, they don't do that anymore. How's life? Isn't that tiger clawing? But it's just a force. Since when do gangers sell threads? Since one of their bosses decided that they don't need tombs with fucked up spines. Got any nice threads for me? If thrift falls into your definition of nice, then sure. Ooh. Grants immunity to bleeding, allows you to land silently, grants immunity to shock. Ooh, armadillo, hell yeah. Bonus damage against high threat, yes. Uh. Absolutely that. Cool. Dope, I don't look as stupid.
Oh. You can buy the armor crafting scheme from this guy. The what? The armor crafting schemes. You mean these? What's the donut? Where's the donut goal for the Xbox Series X? A bunch of people told me to turn it off, so I turned it off. I'm still trying to raise money for it, but nobody really donates, so it's no big deal. Cool. Alright, well, that was cool, and it helped, but I didn't... Oh my god, I look so fucking stupid. <laughs> Um, we're looking for the ability to upgrade. I can upgrade some of it, but I want to upgrade my rifle, and I just need one of these. So we're looking for that right now. Let's find another vendor. Probably a weapons vendor. Uh, let's go over there. How many people did make- no one's made me speedrun portal. I need to completely rethink how my channel points are used, especially if I'm gonna keep streaming as much as I am. How close are you to the goal? Not very. The goal is $650, and I'm at, like, 150 so not at all. And then eventually, after that, I'm going to have to have a goal to get to a PS5. And it's like, oh, oh, it's, it's Conco's got a turbo for sale, a quadra turbo. I'm not buying the cars right now. I should be. Do you like driving in first person? I do, but it makes viewers motion sick, so we can't do that. <laughs> Tyler McVicker, Grava Saibabanka. What does that mean? Does it mean I like it? Because I do. I do enjoy Saibabanka. Driving in first person is much harder. No, it is, yeah, but I find it incredibly more, I find it way more immersive. I enjoy it a lot. All right, so here's the, the real fancy stores. Let's see what you've got. New buyer? Welcome, welcome. Hey, the fact that they remember me and don't remember me now is new, isn't it? Hey, they got it, all right. See what you've got. You buyer? Well. Oh, he says that every time. Welcome. Never mind. I take that praise back. Fuck. Fuck CDPR. They're dumb. <laughs> Eliminates horizontal recoil. Holy shit! What? Hi. Thank you. Alright, my character is fucking... Look at that armor, 766. Holy shit. Let's grab some ammo. Cool. Alright, we're still doing... We're, right now we're doing Regina's gigs, so... Ghosting isn't that bad. It's nowhere near as bad as it used to be, but I see what you mean. So let's upgrade the DLSS right now, just real quick. Let's see if that does anything. It's 
shout out to the guy who said Bug Project Red the other night. I know, that guy was hilarious. I miss that guy. So what's the newest version of DLSS? What's the version number? What should I be looking for? What DLSS does, uh, if you have an RTX card, it gives free frames. 2.3.7, okay. second installing it now done all right and while we're here i'm gonna max out my graphics cards fan turn up the temp limit all right yeah i just went to the tech power up website I don't think it should matter though. GeForce Experience should always apply the newest version automatically. It does not. It goes in the bin folder. Stop following. Thank you for the follow. Is Lieutenant Sarah Kakoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. I mean, it's still ghost. Turn. Please stop following. I'm back from college. How's college, Blue Coast? How are you doing? I rather like driving fast. Thanks, Stella, man. I like driving fast too. Kind of a shit day? I'm sorry to hear that. What are you studying in college? It is significantly reduced, but it's the same with the 2.3.7 update. But the frames are a little bit better, so. I don't know. The LSS is the technology. Fucking magic. Oh, my frames are improved with the new version. I usually got 30, I'm getting 45 here. What do you know about patch 1.6 so far? Transmog. Gang AI, vehicle and weapon customization. Um, VR DLSS is a hey, thing, v, yes. Got this client, not the brightest bulb in the bunch. Got himself into some serious trouble, needs to leave town ASAP. More intel. Police attached. rework is part of the um, gang rework because police are considered gangs in the game code. You know the classic comedy setup where Gonk gets into serious trouble and only some, like, misanthropic hard-ass can save him? Well, let that gr Please stop gu following. Let your gun... Gwunding? Is that guiding? Guiding plot for today. Sorry, I have dyslexia. The Gonk in question is called Huangbo. He did some small-time work for the Tiger Claws, but instead of keeping his head down and be patient, he took a shortcut and stole from his own gang. Genius, right? Not only that, but the whole thing had his name written all over it. Huangbo's marked for death. 
meaning he has to disappear. The faster, the better. I already found a nomad smuggler, but somebody needs to get him from one end of the city to the other. But if he's spotted on the streets, the Tiger Claws will know about it. You know what you gotta do, right? So let's get let's get to it. He's holed up somewhere in the motel on Martin. Tyler, do you know the upcoming weapons are brand new, like from Cyberpunk 2020 era? Or, uh, no, I don't. I haven't checked all the new weapons yet. Um, new game plus, yeah. Um, but uh, last known meal did a whole thing, or he's going to be doing a whole thing on it. That's new. Him going, hey, hey. <sighs> Fuck off. You Huangbo? Just because they seem the same now doesn't mean they're going to be the same when they launch. They're unreleased. They're not done. Okay, Cheetah, whatever. I don't care. As long as you're good for it. How'd you get here? Uh, let me do the driving. So, a lot of the stuff that I know that's going to be in the game in the future, I don't know if it's going to be 1.6, 1.7, or 1.8, right? Or I don't know if they're going to be exclusive to an expansion. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to be. I just know that it's going to be at some point. I hope we get a rocket launcher at some point. You already have the uh, equipment launcher cyberware for the arm, so probably not. Do I look blind or deaf to you? Just shut your trap if you don't want to be Yeah, we're playing in completely vanilla. This is 100% vanilla unmodded. Yeah. The only thing that's different is we upgraded the DLSS to 2.3.7, and we literally just did that. All right, Huangbo wants me to take him in his own car, so we're going to do that. Brief us on what you know is coming. I just did. Can someone summarize it? Because I've answered the question like six times now. I already did all the breaching stuff when I bought the apartment. Another solid piece from IBDY. You want a medal or something? That's cool that it forces you into the first person so you see the scene. That's actually sick. Yeah, the, the radio DJ of the station is Mike Moss. It's the rock station, right? Morocco Rock, right? Is it Morocco? Moro Rock. Oops, I can't fucking read. Pointless treachery! Yeah, it seems like 2.3.5 is giving less ghosting, but 2.3.7 is giving better frames. Hey, so. don't Okay, we're here. Get out. Yeah, just a second. But... But... Reggie hired and direct. Ran the spec herself. Moro's that island where the space station is right now? Is it really? Flawless work, V. Quangbo thinks your nickname should be the Furious Lion, so I guess he's happy. Closing the gig, sending you the cred. <sighs> Thanks for bug reporting, yeah. 
Well, take a while to fucking guess. Hey guys. I swear mm -hmm. that was something. Oh, uh, no, no, Thanks for follow. I like the mod that gives you a grenade switch button, and I always said it's Please the same following. button I use to switch my grenades in Doom Eternal. One thing's for sure, V, you're on your way to the top. I'm just glad I can help you along the way. New gigs are waiting. Fuck yeah. They they have fixed thousands of bugs, and they're still fixing bugs. You see, I don't give them as much shit as somebody like Rockstar because Please they're outwardly following. trying to fix these bugs. They're trying their hardest to do it. You know what I mean? Whereas someone like Rockstar is just trying to bank on their name and never have to do any kind of difficult work. The executives think, okay, just work on the next thing. Forget about the old thing. Even though the old thing should probably get a lot of attention because we're selling people a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean. Is the bunny hop glitch still in the game? I don't know. I don't think so. I've been trying to do it and it's not happening, but I might just be bad at it. Yeah, it's just the fact that they're open and honest about the state of things and what they're trying to do. I'm willing to give them a bit more of the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? How, I mean, there is QA. How they missed this since launch. Their launch, uh, I mean, I've gone into it a couple of times. It was, uh, there was some really weird shit going on. The developers wanted to ship in 2022. I stand by that statement. The developers wanted to ship in 2022. There were some forces beyond the developers' control and kind of beyond the executives' control that forced them to, to um, ship when they did, unfortunately. You see the tweet that Bethesda put out an hour ago? They're re they're retiring their launcher and mitigating everyone's games and wallets into Steam. I didn't see that. Are you kidding? Really? That's insane. I would use DLSS to boost my frames, but I'm so used to playing on native, combining DLSS with games is still terrible TAA. Just doesn't work for me. 1.6 goes well, more people will buy. Will there be a sequel to 2077? Eventually, yeah. Mitigation starts in April. That's a video. That's insane. That's really, really crazy. That's a video right there. C C Cyberpunk is literally unplayable without the LSS. At this point, I completely agree with you, yeah. Alright, we got new gigs. So I'm trying to, like, beeline Regina's gigs so that I can see what the legendary thing is that you get when completing all the fixers' gigs. And Regina has the most, the 22. That's because Watson was the first thing that was developed, obviously. Yeah, hopefully Battle.net's the next. That'd be sick. That's actually really sick. The only thing that I like that Valve does nowadays is how they handle Steam. And that's just because the Steam business development team is the only one that actually treats things like they're a corporation and actually, like, tries. And now that you have somebody like Casey on the business development team actually, like, putting in amazing ideas like the Steam um, Next Fest, which was all Casey's idea, you know, you actually have some really cool shit. Isn't Steam most of what they do? Surprisingly, no. Uh, Steam is only like a, like maybe a fourth of what they do. Introducing Alois Decan, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. 
Garl broke my trust and skipped town. And they are working on games, well, but him. a very small Only team is working on games compared to the, the data he left in NC. Vast. Specifically, what's on his comp. Hardware Check people. the attachment. You'll see what to do. They're they're working on hardware predominantly right now, and as I've said, I don't trust that they're going to stick with it because they never stick with anything. How many people work on Steam itself? I don't know. A couple dozen. Uh, Alois de Quan, a mega co uh, the corpo mega prick, he cheated me. And not only me, there's a whole city who wants to get its hands on this guy. As they say, the fate of a traitor is sealed at the time of betrayal. But what Please interests me beyond my... Thank you very much for the follow if you're new to the channel. follow. But what interests me beyond my vengeance, vengeance is Alois's data pad and, well, the data on it. Our traitor picked up and fucked off right out of Night City so fast he left his gear in town. Just 20 minutes ago, I got a login ping from his comp in the Eisenhower Street local net. Head over there and grab his device. Once we get it, we take advantage of this confused mess. Would you accept a free Steam Deck? I would. A, can't afford it, right? Money's tight. It's the beginning of its first quarter of the year, which is the, the worst quarter of the year for money for a content creator on social media. Because everybody pumps you in Q4, and in Q1, they kind of disappear. Number two, I don't trust that they're going to stick with anything, um, especially if somebody sees that there's a market here creates their own walled garden device for significantly cheaper and then tries to compete valve will drop out how do i know that so i don't feel like investing becoming an early adopter of some technology that valve thinks is the future if they're not even willing to Please stick stop with following. it which they've proven time and time again that they're not willing to do that because they get distracted easily there are so many problems with all of valve's things other than steam you know TF2 needs a developers in order to make that game playable on their own servers. I had to play Team Fortress 2 last night for a video that's coming out today, and I didn't real I hadn't played for a while, and I have never seen it as bad as it is right now. It's terrible. Are you holy shit? So not only do you have like I played seven games. Of those seven games on casual, playing a game, and then when the game is over, quitting to the main menu, hitting casual, selecting all of the categories and hitting find game and joining the game that valve themselves place me in all seven of them had at least four spin bots on it and nowadays spin bots will play these podcast recordings of this guy who kind of sounds like alex jones but he's talking about piss and blood and n word this and f word that nothing but slurs and it's just super super loud and like it's horrible and the thing is like tf2 brings in so many people to this day that yes you don't necessarily have to upkeep it with new content updates and stuff but you sure as hell need to get these problematic actors out of the game and valve has absolutely no intention of doing that because they're distracted with something else the same thing can be said with csgo but to a lesser extent and Dota 2, I'm, I don't pay attention to, so I don't fucking know. So, and then their VR scene. Do you guys remember when Valve did VR? Last year? You know what I mean. I saw PSVR 2, yeah. Please stop following. I don't care. Thank you for the follow. I don't care if they Please update TF2 following. anymore. They need to make it a safe and functional place. And they have absolutely no intention of doing it right now. They were able to figure out the DDoSing problems, but the spin botting problems, the hacking problems, they don't fucking care anymore. Are you kidding me? No one's working on it. And the thing that frustrates me is, okay, the new distraction, the new hotness right now is the Steam Deck. But they're not touching one of their most popular multiplayer games to be compatible on the Steam Deck, probably because they don't want people to see the, the sorry state of the game. They have updated every single one of their games, including fucking Half-Life Source. Do you know what? Which one of their games isn't getting an update to, to add full compatibility with the Steam Deck? Team Fortress 2. Damn it. Alright, let's be in combat then. I was gonna try and do this completely stealth. But... I killed a I killed a citizen. I killed a non-combat target. 
Whoops. Hey. Is the data pad in the basement then? I have an access card now. You see, the thing is, out of all the games that they updated, the Half-Life games, the Por Portal 2, they're going to be updating Portal 1. The only one that they're not going to be updating is Team Fortress 2, and I have no fucking clue why. That seems like such a stupid move. The reload speed is from multiple perks uh, on top of each other. The reload speed is only that high for the, for the two seconds after I kill an individual. And it's just for rifles. Man, I hate this coward horse shit. Hey! See? It's only right after I kill somebody when my cold blood is out. So when my cold blood stack is gone and I shoot, reload is slower. No, not Half-Life 1. They're working on... They're, they're, the basics of the update is in Half-Life Source. Will they completely fix Half-Life Source? No, because that's a lot of work and that's work they don't want to do. Ugh. No one... There is no one that... There's no accountability at Valve and that, you know, kind of... I'm not getting into it. Valve is incredibly disappointing at the current time. There is the team... The Half-Life Alex team is working on another game, possibly two, and that team is the best team at Valve. The second best team at Valve is Steam, but it's Steam, so who really cares? Who would have thought? Coco or not, without Chrome, we all look like the same idiotic, bullet-ridden sacks of meat. Is Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition playable now? Nope, not yet. I mean, it's playable, but it sucks. <clears throat> But they're currently working on it, and it's going to be coming to Steam, and when it does come to Steam, they're going to be, you know, there's this massive update that they're working on. I don't know what they're going to be doing with it. Did you triple check that you never got an email from Valve about the... I did. Valve fucking hates... The, the people that make the big decisions are not a fan of me. Give me a year and a half. I'll be back on Valve's good graces if I want to, but unfortunately, everything that Valve does is wrapped up in so many layers of frustration. Hey, where'd you come from? It was just downstairs. There's a lot of real. So here's the thing. There's a lot of really good moves in the short term that Valve are doing. Rights repair, RMAs, Please how they're communicating following. with their customers on the Steam Deck. But the thing is, I've seen this so many times before. They they were really really good with the Steam Index, the Valve Index, for the first couple of months after it came out. But nowadays, no one's fucking talking about the Valve Index because Valve isn't even trying to compete in the VR marketplace because Meta or Facebook or whatever swooped in and started actually competing. And then Valve, in the face of the competition, was like, okay, handheld. You know what I mean? You want to talk about this? I don't know what you saw there. I don't go down there. I don't know anything. They forced me. I'm their hostage. He's lying. Said if I way. try to escape, I'd be next on the table. I swear. You're lying. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Glucose. You're right not to believe me. You also have the right to a discount discount what do you mean special prices for special customers like you could i make a, a guess on the next patch the date yes april or well, may but well said sure deal basement's already forgotten perfect i've never agreed to this glad so to agree i'll take the discount. please let me know if you need anything uh, been doing biz here long two years maybe more wasn't easy at first, but I made the right connections. Half the heavy lifting in business is the networking. This and the will to be cooperative. I've killed him. I, this is my fifth playthrough. I've killed him four times. What kind of stuff you got? Valve's next big hardware project? Well, they're working on a VR system, and if you ask Bradley, it's that. Um, I don't know if I believe that. You know? Because if they tried to release another VR headset, they would have to try and remain competitive in said VR scene. And it seems like they don't want to try, you know? So, I don't know. Can't I sell unused cyberware? I thought I could. Time's kind of tight here. Huh. 
Time's kind of tight here. Shut up. Oh, you're just gonna. Okay. Trades at the top. So we were saying. Trade. Okay, but then like, where's the cyberware? I thought you could trade in cyberware. I guess not. Hmm. Oh, you're just gonna. Okay. I don't trust BCI, and I haven't trusted it since the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, it's a pipe dream. Invasive BCI is never gonna be the future. No matter how much sci-fi tells us it will be. No one wants to sign up for voluntary procedures. No one. Make it external. But everybody's like, oh, oh but, the, but you can do so much more with invasive. Yeah, okay, fine. You can do so much more if you have direct link to the person's brain. Yeah, you're right. Who fucking cares? Oh, when you hover over an item, it says sell. All right, let's go back. Where is he? Oh, he's over there, right. Nobody wants to sign up for voluntary medical procedures when they don't even have the health insurance to get ones that they need to save their fucking lives! It's just, it's, it's a fucking, it's, it's, it's just for people, it, uh. Shit, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting angry. It's just for people that can afford it in the first place. It's a rich person's thing. Gabe Newell is a billionaire. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm sorry for getting angry, but this shit pisses me off so badly. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a rich person's game. And we're all talking about, like, oh, invasive procedures will be the future. But I have friends who had parents die because they couldn't afford the medical care that they needed. It. Let's work on normal health care before we start talking about how we can improve people's lives by putting smartphones in their brain. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Seriously. Like, I live in a very rural area. I live in a very poor area. Think, man? And I have a lot of friends who grew up in... Like, I grew up kind of poor. I didn't grow up that poor. Electra grew up in harsh-ass poverty. My best friends growing up grew up in poverty. Like... I've seen it. Like I know I know it. Like it fuck you. Like seriously. Let's let's focus on the lives of the people who are already here. Why is that such a weird communist way of thinking? Most people are not inherently evil. They just want better lives for themselves and their families. And a lot of people are just, you know, confused and they don't know how the world actually works because they don't want to accept that the world is out to get them 100% of the time. It's just <sighs> fuck it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. It's just so disappointing to be able to see. Like, my best friend's dad died of COVID because they couldn't afford the medical procedures in order to save him. Do you know what I mean? So if you, like, invasive brain procedures in order to be able to check the time directly in your eyes, fuck it, I don't fucking care. People shouldn't be dying from curable or treatable diseases because they don't have enough tokens to pay for. Fuck you. If you think otherwise, then you don't care about human lives. Or you care about capital. Or, or, or material. More than you care about human lives. We're only given one. The afterlife is a joke. 
developed by people who are scared by the existential crisis that will exist and ensue when you think about the finite time that we have on this earth and the finite time that this earth as a whole will exist and how nothing we do will matter in the grand scheme of things and we tell ourselves things so that we feel more important but if you don't accept the reality of things you're not going to live your life in a proper way data from Jotaro's private server Found out we're all gonna die live your life priorities. treat people nice because we're all gonna Human die and bona fide piece of no shit. matter how rich you are you're Check still gonna die Deeds attached. and this game makes me think about that a lot countless dreamers head to big cities in search of a fresh start and so many of them have nowhere to return to outcasts loners reject Jane, Hun, Jane Hoon's put a target out on the back of the so society's failed, and there's no shortage of them in Night City. Here's the rundown on Jane Hoon's meat grinder. He identifies some poor bastard, kidnaps them, and delivers them to scavs for vile mod or cyber mo cyberware removal. They're stripped of their identities and end up as property of some shitbag like Jotaro to do as they please. Of course, no one really looks for these people, and even if they did, who would assume? Who, who would they? Where would they start? What are the odds? Sorry. Let, let's face it, Dwayne Hoon is one of the head of the Hydra, but fuck it, let's chop it off anyway. Anyways, could be a while before more grow back in its place. Bro, this game's story isn't real. Calm down, it's a dystopia. You don't think we're living in the beginning or, like, the middle of a dy developing dystopia? What country are you from? Let me rephrase that in a more realistic and very real way. You're denied your life if you can't pay. This country says, fuck you, you're gonna die, you don't have money. Simple as that. An ambulance ride is thousands of dollars in this country. Do you have any idea how expensive my medical bills after my car accident were? Tens of thousands of dollars, and I have insurance. This game is not as much a fantasy dystopia as you think. It's an exaggerated look of the world as it currently exists. Tyler moved to England. Look, they're trying to strip the NHS from England already. I pay attention. Fuck it, I'm moving to Canada, man. I have a lot of job prospects in Canada, and that's why I'm moving to Canada. The U.S. has strong suits. The U.S. does have some strong points. The baseline people here, 95% of the time, are incredibly nice. We're all very nice to each other. This country treats like each other way better than you than most countries I've heard. We're very polite to strangers and all that junk. We're, it's very easy to start a conversation with almost any stranger in this country, but the problem is, and this is the same problem that Valve has, 95% of the people may be good, but those 5% that are bad are ruining everybody's lives and the planet. Great. Consider the gate closed. Every developed country is as good as you choose to think it is. Uh, well, we're the only developed nation that doesn't have universal health care and people can die if they don't have enough fake money. So, you know. You know what I mean? But yeah, I have some job prospects in, in uh, Japan and Canada, and I'm probably moving to Canada. In like two years. CDPR has, a, has an office in Canada, Linus obviously is in Canada, uh, Bethesda's in Canada. I've got a lot of uh, cool prospects, in, specifically Vancouver. And uh, I've been talking to Chet about Vancouver, and he says it's fantastic there. So.
Oh, I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for everything I just spouted out, but I'm, Please stop I'm, following. I'm a very politically charged individual. Uh, thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Uh, if you have a Twitch, if you have a Twitch Prime, use it. It's free. You don't have to use it on me, but please use it on somebody, because it's effectively free money you can give to a streamer if you have access to a Twitch Prime sub. Um, also, exclamation point, donate in the chat. You can, uh, you know, PayPal me some donations or whatever if you like the content. Currently, I'm trying to save up for a P uh, an Xbox Series X so that I can do more research on the next gen patches of both Cyberpunk and the witcher and then also for grand theft auto 5 because i'm doing a lot of that i already have some legendary gear i have this assault rifle and these shoes uh what else what else what else exclamation point do you prefer subs or donations uh i get 50 percent of sub revenue so for a five dollar sub i get two dollars fifty cents um same goes for twitch prime for donations, I get everything. So donos do give me more money, uh, but subs are reoccurring and also more uh, reliable. That's to that's TOS. What's TOS? What's TOS? I can't say how much I get from a Twitch sub. Are you serious? That can't be to us. That's fucking bullshit. Do you care turning the music down just a tiny bit? Yep. I can't talk about how much money I make on YouTube. That is TOS. But I thought the 50% was the same unless you're like a big, big YouTuber or Twitch streamer. But yeah, right now I'm trying to save up for a, an Xbox Series X so I have access to some kind of next-gen console so I can do research on all these next-gen patches. For games that I cover, such as The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk, GTA 5, and soon Red Dead. So, you know, if you have a bunch of disposable income, hey, this is my plea. Send me some, brah. Exclamation point, donate in the chat. You can also buy me a game. Exclamation point, wish in the chat. That's my Steam wish list. And then lastly, you can get me, uh, you can trade me Steam items. Exclamation point, trade in the chat. Thank you very much. And then you can follow my social media platforms. Exclamation point, help. We'll give you all the links. All right. Two more gigs. Let's do it. I do not get a 70% split from t uh, Twitch subs. I don't think I'm a big enough streamer. How far are you into the game currently? I am clearing out Watson, uh, which is the top bit here. Um, I haven't touched any other area of the map, so not very far. I got a shamelessly self-promo once in a while. I don't even know people know that you can, uh... How far are you into the bigger quest? I haven't... I talked to Takemira, I talked to Rogue, and now I have to start the Pan Am and Judy quest lines, but I have... You know. Can I dump you all my cards? Sure. Nice match point trade in the chat. Do you think there'll be another Valve game in the next few years? I think we're gonna get an announcement for another Valve game this year. Not Artifact 2, no. They already tried Artifact 2 and gave up on it quite quickly. Have I played Shadow Warrior 1 and 2? I played Shadow Warrior 1. I've been meaning to play Shadow Warrior 2, but I know that's a co-op game. And I don't have any friends that own it. Um, but I'm very... I'm, I am anticipating Shadow Warrior 3, yeah. If that's what you're trying to ask. You can play solo and it's fine. Oh, okay. Do 
you think the expansions would be 20 bucks? I think so, yeah. Hey V, wanna do a good deed and make some eddies while you're at it? Gotta get someone out of the Tiger Claw's grip before they chop him into teeny tiny little pieces. You in? Deeds attached. Don't make me ask twice. Matters urgent. My client, M Masadu Kudlidge, you might recognize him from the show Boxathon on N54 from a few years back, is looking for someone to get him get his coach back from the Tiger Claws. Here's the deal. Masadu got himself into a debt hole. Looking to climb out the easy way, he cut a deal with the Tigers. They gave him a wad of cash to go down in the next fight. And you know what he did? He goes to the bookie incognito and bets on his own win. Next thing you know, he KOs his opponent in the, last, in the second round and blasts off into the sunset in an AV. It was happily ever after for Masadu until he kidnapped his coach, uh, Rochi Wan. They're threatening to kill him if Masadu doesn't come back to Night City. Masadu doesn't want his coach death to weigh on his conscience, so he got in touch with me, and I got in touch with you. Sending you the cords where you can, where they're keeping Rochi Wan. Try getting him without tripping the alarm. Hostages and shootouts Seriously, don't miss well. Seriously, please stop supporting the five bucks, picker. Timothy, Timothy. No matter what anyone believes in what you just said, you're speaking your mind, and that's strong. Thank you. Alright, I have done this mission silent so many times. Fuck it. I'm killing everybody. <laughs> Regina's gonna be pissed, but I don't fucking care. I could be silent and kill everyone. I've done that too. I've never gun and guns blazing though. And this V just likes to shoot guns, man. There's a lot of new scopes, yeah. Are you doing a 100% achievements playthrough? I'm gonna try. I don't think it's entirely possible for one playthrough, but we'll try. Hard to get you out of here. Can you We're walk? We're playing on very hard. Man, I've got 43 fights under my belt. This isn't my first black and blue makeover. Say the word, and I'm right behind you. Okay, then get up. Time to turn tail. With you all the way. Listen, we don't need to trouble. I can't help you. At least, not in this state. I'll handle it. What I'm paid for. Is waiting. Okay. Guess I forgot to loot. Oh, yes, I did. Um, okay. So the camera placement for this mirror is behind me. Is that a consistent bug? 
It is. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. BD one C five five one C. Timothy, Timothy with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, please follow. If you have a Twitch Prime, use it. You don't have to use it on me, but you got to use it on somebody. It's free money. You're thrown away if you're not. All right, let's get out of here. I don't care if Regina's going to be mad at me. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Taste the love. Right. No need to thank me. It's a feature. Since there's no mirrors in front of the other mirrors in this game, it's the only way to see your back outside of the equipment menu. Oh, okay. That's what they were going for. Oh. Nexify, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. I'm sure you will. Hey, listen. By the way, who threw Please that stop following. Bust me out. Follow. Massadu. He knew he'd be in a bit of a fix after the stunt he pulled. <laughs> Just like him to do that. First he lends me knee deep in shit, then tries to pull me out. I don't know if I should spit in his face or uh. shake his hand when I see him now. It'd be better for both of you if you never saw each other again. Ever. Yeah, his legs bleeding. You're on the level. Don't let this city swallow you up. And if it does, make sure it remembers you. Well, we're all secure, but I don't know. Guess I was expecting something more. Like, more discretion. Next time, try and go that extra mile, okay? Get closed. Level 20. Reduce recoil with rifles and machine guns by 5% when firing cover. Increase. Oh, definitely that. Okay, next gig up there. So the radio doesn't play unless you go to the pause menu and pause and unpause, and then the radio plays. That needs to be written down. Where's my notebook? Where's my notebook? <laughs> there it is. Car, radio. Pause, um, pause, backwards, mirror, um, tiger, claw, boxing, gig. Do we have any other bugs? Oh, yeah, the, uh, Huang Bo ending. Where's my super suit? Be 
Timothy, Timothy gifted a tier one sub to Myth Alex. Thank you very much. Thank you. Operating in the gray zone. No scruples about working with Mercs. Attach more deeds for you. Gig type thievery. Client is Aaron McClarson. Carlson. NCPD sergeant used to work for me on a consultant on the show Cops and Chops. Eight seasons! Asking for a favor. Aaron's been digging in a maelstrom for a while now. Says he found the warehouse but <clears throat> where they torture people. But you know how it is for badges. Law, slow, law slows them down with mountains of paperwork. So if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that. Which is why instead of waiting for fat-ass judges to grant him permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. Job simple. Get into the warehouse. Coordinates attached. Steal the security cam footage and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push his case through. And if you happen to shoot a few maelstromers along the way, well, shit, it happens, right? World won't be worse off for it anyway. That's for sure. Get inside the warehouse. Alright. Over! Oh. Ooh, I'm out of bullets. All right. Go, go, go! go. Five, five. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. I could have just dropped in from the ceiling and stole it. Are you kidding? All right. Oof. The fucking dirt bag. These things still surprise you. 50 years in soul prison gives you a break from this. Even if it was only a blip. Lucky you. Hey V, make sure he fucking regrets this. 
pretty please. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Seriously, please stop supporting my kicker. Yo. Heres your zar plata from Sovoil. Now go and read red source book to varich. Thank you. Thank you for the two dollars twenty six cents from Mikalis. Uh. So I gotta go tell Aaron. You know what he did. Johnny sometimes does feel like a chaotic good. He's not. He is a literal terrorist. He has good intentions most of the time, even though you could argue that everything he does is because of art, but whatever. He's chaotic for sure. I think I think you could argue you could make an argument for chaotic neutral, but I, I don't know. What's your opinion on the overpriced GPU? Thanks to hyperinflation, prices will never go down. Yeah. What's my opinion on it? Capitalism. He is an ex-soldier. You're right. Tell Aaron you know what he did. Oh, right. I gotta walk to him either way. He, yeah, he's an ends justifies the means kind of guy, and that's like the whole point of the Witcher series is that the ends just like claiming the ends justify the means is not a good moral argument because the means are going to create their own means, and it's just a vicious cycle that you should try and end by not getting revenge or not trying to cause good with pain and you know. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. You're about to know my rat. <laughs> Delamain now talks. You are correct. Aaron, it's V. I've got the scrolls. Oh, V? <laughs> Thought you were another one of those Serenity Bible whack jobs. Come in. So? <sighs> hit any snags along the way? There always are. Handle them. You're real tough as nails, huh? That's how you survive out there. All right, now hand over those scrolls already. Choppity chop chop, huh? These scrolls are for some kind of investigation, right? Mm-hmm. Real big stink, mind you. But thanks to your help, I can give it a push. Kinda sad to let him go. The contents are truly fascinating. You weren't supposed to watch him. That was the deal. Oh, now you want to go by the book, huh? The scrolls didn't paint such a law-abiding picture of you. Save the moralizing bullshit. Guessing you want something, huh? So just spill already. What I want is for you to be behind bars, where you belong. <laughs> Too bad. Not gonna happen. Looks like my dream came true. You know me. I'm a people pleaser. Fun way to end it, huh?
What's your guy? So what's some just just let's let's talk about different ways to end that quest. How else can you end the quest? You can just give it to him and leave. What happens then? That can't seem like a fun way of ending it. V, I, I understand your decision, but you could have handled that differently. Aaron was a bastard, but a bastard with influence, and you had dirt on him. But what's done is done. Our client's dead and gone, which means so's our pain. You understand. Gig shut and forgotten. There's a clothing mod that turns all your attacks non-lethal. You can extort money from him. <gasps> oh, you're right. If I just knocked him out. I never thought of that. It, would that result in a different ending? No, so if you take him out non-lethal way, knocking him out, he'll be found at Dino's place. You end up both getting the bonus and Regina's payment. Oh. I thought maybe, like, he'd get arrested or something. Oh, he does get arrested? It's about damn time. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. The NCPD is a relic, a fossil. They're too blind to see that it's profit that drives success. If you want to be safe, and I mean truly safe, invest... Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Take advantage of a today only promo price. Non-lethal satisfies both Regina and John Johnny, by the way. I need a non-lethal gun. Spend wiser, never a miser, my friends. That's it today for your business. Have I watched Smiling Friends yet? I saw two episodes. I saw Mr. Frog and the yellow guy. The, the guy that they were trying to help. The, the gamer. I'm not a netrunner. I have very little um, RAM to work with. So I would want to get a non lethal weapon mod and then. I mean, if all of my shots are non lethal, does that hey, make hey. it harder? Quick gig. Maelstrom clept a Malorian van. They're holding it in one of their hideouts. Address I attached. Go there and nab the shard from that van. Other words, you're clepping from the cleppers. Need more info? Scan the attachment. Big news going around town. A Malorian van was stolen from Sir Francis Drake Avenue. Maelstrom claimed responsibility. It just so happens that one of my informants saw the whole thing, and he was smart enough to tell them using a drone. Hard part's over. We already know where they stashed the van. I'd say we got lucky, but the truth is people know how to get shit done. Okay, okay. I'll quit flattering, my flattering myself. Mm. You just don't get the bonus of killing them. Go to the chop shop and find a data bank in the van, the Malorian transport route data. The gangers have no idea what it's worth more than all the cargo they're sitting on. All right.
next playthrough I'll have to go non-lethal. I always try and stick with my decisions in like choice-based quest games, you know. Otherwise, it devalues the choices. You know? Solos nowadays, all shooting, no subtlety. It's true. It's true in the lore and it's true in the game. Okay, the target analysis Kuroshi mod from Ripper Docs makes all weapons non-lethal. I'm not gonna go non-lethal this playthrough, but I'll go non-lethal next playthrough, the modded playthrough, or the console playthrough. Both of which will be streamed. I can't promise that my console playthrough will be on very hard, because I'll have to be using controller for the whole thing. And the controller playthrough won't happen until I get the Xbox Series X. But will happen. Just remember, you can still kill people, but they have to be taken out first regardless of mods. I don't know what that means. inventory. First of all. Second of all. It's a lot of weapons. Yeah, I can't wait for Transmog either. Even though it's the mods have figured it out, they took what was in the game with the code and they turned it into something that works. Hell yeah. Wow, I don't actually look like a dumbass, except for the helmet. I wish I didn't have to wear this dumbass helmet. <laughs> it's 
1.4 didn't exist because they wanted a nice round number. That's that is exactly correct. Drink water. Breach uh. protocol up to eight. Dope. I think that's it. No, there's something up there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Junk. Jump is the best fucking thing in the game, man. Uh, All right. I think I cleared out this area pretty well. So let's go. How much more enjoyable is this game after the patch? 100%. It actually works. Double jumping is so addictive. You can get up into areas you, you feel like you shouldn't be getting up into. But I know CDPR knew that that would be happening if they introduced the double jump. But they also like, like the joy of feeling like you're breaking the game. And I had a conversation with Miles about that. Should I have been able to do that? If you're on lower end hardware, this patch is a godsend. Absolutely. Oh, this is a big area. This is a lot of shit in it. Did you try DLSS and FSR combo? You can do both at the same time? I didn't think that was possible. How the hell do you do that? I thought if you turn on FSR, it turns off DLSS. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. I 
I'm sorry. I'll leave the- oh, never mind. That's gotta be a bug. Man, was this like the first one they did? Because this one's got so much shit to do. Did I level up quick hacking as high as it goes? Oh, no, I didn't. Breach protocol is as high as it goes, though. I remember when the 1050 Ti was king. Boy, I remember when it was cool when you got a 670. Don't challenge me. I wish they added wall running. My very first good graphics card was an AMD 78, Radeon 7850. That was my good, that was my first good graphics card. It was called an Ice Q Radeon, AMD Radeon 7850. Got that in 2011, 2000, 2010. And then I got a 270, an FX2, an AMD R9, R7270. I got a 390, and I got a 1070 Ti, and a 2080 Super, and now I have a 3080 Ti. How was the 2080 Super? Very good wasn't as powerful as I needed it to be for work, specifically with VR, and also it exploded during a live stream. V, guy named Max Jones needs help. He might disagree, but if you don't get to this stubborn gonk first, he's as good as dead. <sighs> Max is a media and a good friend of mine. Need you to bring him to me. If he puts up a fight, you're clear to use force. Like I said, he's stubborn. Deets attached. No oh, passionate gamer. Hello. What's your best advice for gamers who desperately need a, a high end GPU? God, I don't have any advice. I'm sorry. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Shrapnel from a grenade door straight through my thigh. Bye. Just a usual IED. Improvised explosive device.
That's right. They gave us Nova implants, pre-med care, even the big cats from the board showed up. and forgot all about you. Yeah. And get this. Those implants, we had to get them back. Replaced them with these first-gen pieces of garbage. They did us dirty, yo. Took everything from us, tossed us like... like... It's okay. I understand. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. You a corpo? Tell me, or I shoot. Not a fucking suit. Name's V. Regina sent me. Regina? <laughs> Tell her she can get fucked. There's a death warrant out for you. But you probably already knew that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I could give... Help me out? She's the one who needs help. Yeah, he's about to kill himself. She was the best media I knew. Shit, she was my mentor. And now, <laughs> sold right out. But I won't be bought. Not me. Never ever sold out. That'll look great on your tombstone. <laughs> Better than sell out, bitch. You really hate Regina that much. I was talking about you. Doesn't it bother you? The PR machines, 24-7 lies, cover-ups. Things used to be different. The media's word fucking meant something. We tracked those sons of bitches every dirty move. And now, you can prove halts in Arasaka's pocket, and nobody gives a flying turd fuck. You think you're hot shit, but you might as well be a fly buzzing in a corpo's ear. So I'll keep buzzing. It's not medias they're losing sleep over. It's fixers with razor-sharp intel. The kind that'll slit your throat. Yeah, because I'm sure Regina's the one keeping Yaranobu up at night. You got a niche for the truth, don't you? If you want to know who Regina is now, what she really fights for, just go and see her. Mm -hmm. At the very least, it'd mean a lot to her. I like this dude's style. Max? Talk to her, but that's it. That's all I ask. Okay, just gotta download a few things. Do what you gotta do. I still don't understand what's all what all the mannequins are for. The chauffeur? What's next? Champagne? Black market synth cigars? No time to waste. Let's go. Take care, Max. Yeah, you too. Thanks for the help. Glad you got through to that stubborn mule. Looks like I'm up to bat with him now. Gig closed.
makes it. Oh. What did that say? Well, whatever it was, I got a I got a bonus. Oh wow, you can honk indefinitely. This is where we're going to end it for right now. We're probably going to stream some more later today. Like I said, we're trying to get through this game 100% as quickly as possible. Um, we currently have 19 of 22 gigs completed for Regina. Jesus. And I have a feeling the rest aren't going to unlock until I get uh, maxed out street cred, which isn't until level 50. So, we're going to have to move on from that. So, for the time being, Watson is clean. We got all the NCPD side hustles. We got all available uh, gigs. So, now we just have side missions and the main jobs. So, uh, we'll continue this a little bit later today. A couple hours. It's currently 1.06. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for a bit, but I definitely need to take a break. We've been streaming for like four hours, you know. So, as we close it out, let's find someone to raid. Let's see who's streaming today. Celebi's streaming, but I'm sure she's streaming Destiny 2. Yep. Let's find someone playing Cyberpunk. Again, with the fucking... Jesus Christ. Mm. Alright, let's do this one. Your raid phrase for today is... Um, oh no, an accident! Exclamation point. I want everybody to say, Oh no! Exclamation point. An accident! Exclamation point. All right? Peace.